Hello learners, welcome to learn at a glass. Today our topic is cavitation and vapor pressure. So let's get started. To understand cavitation, first we have to understand vapor pressure. Uh, vapor pressure is a measure of tendency of the liquid to become vapor. Here in this diagram, you can see that uh, the red dots are water molecules or you can say liquid molecules which is trying to exert pressure in the surrounding molecules and the black dots which are actually surrounding molecules are trying to exert pressure in the liquid surface of the uh, surface boiling or steam formation starts when either the surrounding pressure is decreased beyond vapor pressure of the liquid or the vapor pressure of the liquid increases up to more than surrounding pressure. This can be done by altering temperature or pressure or both. Heating the liquid increases its vapor pressure, so the boiling starts. Moreover, decreasing the surrounding pressure lower than vapor pressure also starts the boiling. So these are the facts need to be known. Let's proceed. Cavitation. When impeller of a pump or propeller of ship or submarine rotates faster, they increases velocity of the water, resulting a decrease in pressure beyond vapor pressure. This causes formation of vapor bubbles, which when moves to higher pressure zone of impeller or propeller collapses and causes a shock wave and pitting action in the metal surface of the impeller. This over time results in erosion of metal. This formation of bubble and its explosion phenomenon is called cavitation. So here is an example. This picture shows the real result of cavitation. Here you can see how surface of this impeller is eroded because of cavitation. This did not happen in few days. It took a long time for this to happen because of repeated cavitation. This image can see this image shows the bubble steam when moves to higher pressure region in this way it collapses in this way here uh, it it is having a lower pressure zone that's why it is fully okay when it moves to higher pressure zone uh, slowly it decreases in size and when again it moves to further higher pressure region the liquid in this area which is having higher pressure presses it and compresses it and that's how it, it gets collapsed and a certain shock wave is transferred in the metal surface which removes a small chip from the metal surface causing erosion to the metal and that's how cavitation leads to damage of parts okay, so problems of cavitation cavitation erodes metallic part and damage them over time this causes huge vibration and increases noise this is never expected and vibration and noise both reduces efficiency and noise in case of submarine may hamper to their secret missions. Cavitation reduces actual discharge and thus efficiency. When cavitation is formed, the bubbles occupy volume with no discharge. So final discharge is decreased. That's how the efficiency is decreased. Cavitation reduces power output in case of cavitation in turbine blade. In case of turbine, because of formation of bubbles, less water will heat the turbine blade, causing less energy transfer. It means less rotation, so less power output. Cavitation makes the surface rough, as you saw in the previous picture, how rough the surface became because of cavitation. So let's proceed with prevention. So it is always recommended to use the regulated speed and not more than that, because higher RPM of the impeller or uh, propeller than their design speed might increase the velocity too much of the liquid and that's how the pressure drop will be more and cavitation will be more. Use stainless steel in manufacturing of impellers or propeller. This is because stainless steel are hard so they are not easily prone to erosion. Next, use highly polished running blades because Highly polished metal surface have lesser stress concentration in their surfaces, so there is no chance of erosion. It is better to use two less RPM pumps together than using one with higher RPM. Then increase the eye of the impeller. This is an important point. 
it means that by increasing the central inlet dia of pump where water is sucked in this results in higher surface area means less velocity for same discharge so the pressure drop will be lesser so cavitation will be less so that's it folks for today if you have any queries about this video or any suggestion about this video please feel free to comment if you like this video please give a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications thanks for watching and hope to see you soon in the next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning